Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your end of May reading. This is supposed to be for the 15th through the 31st of May, but I went on vacation so I didn't get it done. So it's going to be the 18th through the 31st. Keep in mind that timing is fluid, so... You know, this could have already happened, this could be happening next month, could be happening at the end of May, whatever. You take what resonates and leave the rest. What it is, it is. What it isn't, it isn't, right? Use your common sense. This is for the sign of Leo. My tone during the reading is what it is. I'm not going to fake it to make anybody happy, okay? I don't approve negative comments, so you might as well keep them to yourself. I don't want to hear about your hate. Keep that shit to yourself. This is for the sign of Leo. Oh, oh, okay, well, uh, two of cups reversed, we all know what that means, if you've been watching tarot for a reading, there's arguments, breakups, upsets, disharmony, discord within a relationship, somebody has been fighting, there's incompatibility here, unhappy, you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in the mix somewhere, um, there is an element of unhappiness. Somebody is very stubborn, hard-headed, um, closed off. They're not focusing on love. <sighs> Unbalanced, definitely. Somebody is causing a lot of upset in your life, Leo. Absolutely. Things aren't blending well. Somebody's not cooperating. You know, there's a lack of communication here. Son of a gun. Somebody is moody, whether it's you or the other person. Keep in mind, this could be you. This These readings are always vice versa, you or the person that you're dealing with. This is for the sign of Leo. Somebody is, their temper is up and down, you know, like a roller coaster. You never know what to freaking expect. Um, and you may be feeling empty inside, okay? Somebody may be feeling like, an ending is imminent, okay? It's like this is about to end. It's about to end, whatever it is. Or when is it going to end? You may feel like you're going through constant recuperation mode. Like, oh my God, I got to recuperate, got to recuperate, got to recuperate. Something is ending. This is the death of an idea because there's been so lack of balance. There's a lack of balance here. That's all. I mean, there is. And it could be caused from another person. I don't know. But whatever's going on, there's there's a there's fighting. And somebody really needs to step back, seriously needs to step back and focus on what they want their future to look like. Right now things are not harmonious. Somebody needs to really take a time out. These are both time out cards. Step back, time out. Time out. What is causing this imbalance in your relationship? What is causing this disharmony in your relationship? This is the step back, step back. What is it? What's causing this? Is it addictions? Does somebody have addictions? You know, what, what, there's hundreds and thousands of addictions, okay? We all have different little things that are an addiction. Somebody needs to master their emotions and put themselves in the driver's seat. They need to find the mental strength and stop being so stubborn and hot-headed. They need to find the strength to bring success to their lives, to head out, head out of this situation that where there's too much, too many arguments. Somebody needs to make a clear decision in regards to this relationship that has no peace and, and harmony. That, that's what this says. Somebody needs to make a clear decision in regards to this relationship that has no peace and harmony. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody needs to find the mental strength to make this decision so that they can bring stability and security to their lives. There's an opportunity here, a new opportunity for stability and security. If somebody would really focus on what the hell they want and where they're going. 
They need to let something die as well. This is the death of an idea. There's no more passion. There's no more growth. There's no more fertility in a certain situation. There's not. It's mirroring this relationship. There's no more growth or fertility in this relationship. Whatever it is. Now, I, I, this could be love. This could be work. This could be family member. I don't know. But there is no more growth. But there is a new opportunity for something stable and secure. If you would really step back and focus and figure this shit out. It's all about mastering your emotions. You're the boss. Nobody else. This is also get moving. M get moving away from this, whatever this is that is incompatible. Incompatible. Get away from it. Make that solid decision, that firm decision. This card in reverse is make that decision now. It's going to take discipline because there's no more growth. There's no more fertility. There's no more passion. Let me go turn this light off. Or actually, I'll shut the shade. Oh, look at that. It's not really doing much, is it? tell you what, I will show you this lack of passion. I'm going to pick it up just as it is. Ace of Wands reversed. That is your outcome card. There is no more growth. There is no more fertility. There is no more passion. There is no more excitement. Whether this is you or the person that you are dealing with. You can't change up the meaning of this card. Even if you're looking for happily ever after. And that is all you wish for is happily ever after. You have to take action to find happily ever after. And remove, your, remove, your, remove yourself from a situation that is not compatible. You have to make the clear decision to, if you want to find true, true happiness, you have to make the decision to remove yourself from a situation that is not harmonious. Whatever. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. This situation could be, who knows what it has to do with. Somebody is in a situation where there's no more growth and there's fighting and there's bickering and there's imbalance and there's no cooperation and there's silent treatment and somebody's feeling empty on the inside, whether it's you as the person that you're dealing with. And it's time to let it go. Let it go. Both of these cards... Stop sacrificing yourself needlessly for a situation that has no growth. There's no togetherness. There's no teamwork. It could be a third party situation. There's no communication. And you're dealing with somebody that is very sneaky, crafty, and has something up their sleeve. Cunning as hell. Master manipulator. Master. And they've caused you a lot of worry. They've caused you anxiety. They've caused you depression. And it's time to let it go. Let it go. But your strength is lacking. And you know, I can't change this shit. Somebody's cowardly. They're weak, they lack discipline, they lack inner strength. And I'm sure you all hate me at this point, right? Take back your power. 
do the right thing. This is represented by justice. Do the right thing. Be strong. Speak up. Communicate. Tell it like it is. Just do it. about integrity. Find the strength within yourself to deal with this deceptive situation and you know what it is. And I don't, I'm not judging anybody. I'm telling you the story. This end of May is about finding the strength within you to release this Tricky, deceptive, manipulative individual in which they have stolen your power. There's no togetherness. There's no working together. You, there's, there's no communication. There's no cooperation. You could be involved in a third party situation. Somebody, you know, you really need to step back and think about this for a minute. How long can this go on for? How much more can you take? Whatever this is. You're dealing with somebody that is never going to give up. You know, I don't know who this is. They're not going to quit. <laughs> uh, trust me on that one. It's time for you to take back your power. It's time for you to do that. It's time for you to be the boss. It's time for you to use your sword. It's time for you to do the right thing for you. Find that strength that has been taken. That's been lost. Be firm. That's your advice. Be firm. Oh, soul power. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body. Not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. You have forgotten how powerful you are. You have. And these three cards say it. They really do. The, the last three cards. You have forgotten how strong you are. About time you remember what you're worth. I have to show you what's on the bottom. I do. I just do. Whew. Choices. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. It's about the choices you make. It's about how you perceive this, this video and all the other videos that you watch. This card is a card of perception. Some people will get upset by my tone of voice. Some people will see it as a, a helping hand. It's all about your perception. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command. Use it. Find the strength to do the right thing. Whatever it is, talk to you later.